वक्रतुंडमहाकाय सूर्यकोटिसमप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुे देव सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करिष्या सिद्धर्भव मे सदा गुर ब्रह्मा गुरष्णु गुरव महेशर गुरसाक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओ सहन सहन भुन सहवीतमस्तमाशावे ओ शाशाशाति ओ श्री परमात्मने नम अथ तृतीय अथ तृतीय श्रीभगवाच श्रीभगवाच सह यज्ञ प्रजा सृष्ट्वा सह यज्ञ प्रजा सृष्ट्वा पुरोवाच प्रजापति पुरोवाच प्रजापति अनेन प्रसविष्य अनेन प्रसविष्य वोस्त्विष्ट काम दुख So we are seeing this shloka, the beautiful shloka, where Bhagwan says that I taught, <clears throat> I having created the beings along with the yagya, I told. That I told that may you multiply. That is, may you commit yourself to the yajna and prosper. The yajna, yajna is is a topic of discussion. That is, yoga, karma yoga. Yajna literally meaning the agni karma, which is performed in the yaga shala. So therefore, referring to the vedic karma, and yajna mean. that huge yagna which in the form of the order sustains this jagat that is the yagna there is a interdependency of the interdependency of the between the things like beings depend on the food for the sustenance annam depends on the plants and the trees trees and plants depends on the rain rain depends on the clouds and the cloud is depends on the yagna that is the karma which is that is out of punyam iti the cycle is going to be talked about that is a yagna that is. in other words we say the eh, the harmony the order the cycle the yagna so therefore be a contributor to this so therefore commitment to the performance of the karma the vigita karma by the veda also the commitment to the karma which are ordained in keeping with your position and status and stage in life that is lokik karma that is looked upon as yoga that is looked upon as yajna योगा कर्म योग 
Now, the next <clears throat> reading. Commitment to the Veda is a life of Vigna. Commitment to the Karma enjoyed by the Veda Purva, the first part of the Veda, which enjoins varieties of karma for various purposes. Certain karmas are Nitya Karma, should be done. Certain karmas are Animitika Karma. Certain karmas, Kamya Karmas. All these karmas, varieties of karmas for various ends are prescribed. Therefore, commitment to the Veda. That is the life of Yajna. So, Saka Yajna, Prajaha, Saka Yajna, Prajasrushka. Along with the Yajna, I created the beings. So, Yajna created for what purpose? For following. Therefore, commitment. Commitment to the Veda. There are yet other rituals. Quite a few, in fact, that must be done on special occasions. That's called Naimittika Karma. Once the entire life is a yajna, and the person is called Vedika, who is committed to the, the Veda, the one who is, who is a Vedika, who follows the Veda, who performs the karma enjoined by the Veda, therefore, the entire life is a yajna. He shows his commitment to the Veda. Therefore, to be a Vedika is not joke. It requires great commitment and dedication and Shraddha in the Veda. It means that the person is to perform all the enjoined rituals, in other words, to live a religious life. So religious life. Religious life is in harmony with the order. Religious life never contradicts, never rubs, never rubs against the order. To live a religious life is to live in harmony with the order. That is why the Upanishad and the, the, the that's why the Shastram, the Shastram and Gita Shastram they all advise to follow, to lead a religious life. So religious life doesn't lie in marking uh, a certain symbol on the forehead or it is not in wearing a particular vastra, the dress. Or it is doesn't depend on any other thing. Religious life is the attitude towards the Veda. So you have Shraddha in the Veda, you commit to you commit yourself to the orders of the Veda, the injunctions of the Veda. Veda can never be wrong. That's such understanding and commitment to it. So that is that is religious life. So what we in our sampradaya, religious life means following the Veda, adhering to the instructions, the injunctions of the Veda. This is what Lord Krishna meant here, the so religious life, Vedic life. When he said that, he, when he created human beings, he also created Ignas. So, a person cannot come to spiritual life immediately. He cannot come to Vedanta immediately. Having followed a religious life, that is Veda Purva, for a certain period of time, in that period the person hopefully gets matured, grows out of his limitations, and discovers the Purushartha, Moksha, that is what he aspires in and through all the Purushartha. Therefore, a shift takes place in the person. And therefore, a shift, a shift in the mind takes place in the person and therefore a shift. Shift is inner shift. There is a change happening in his understanding. I mean, it comes to right understanding. It's a se sequence. So understanding means not that previous understanding was wrong. The person grows. He grows in understanding. Gets more and more clarity. The purpose of life. In the beginning, he may not get. Le leading the life only, leading the Vaidika life only, he gets an understanding. That is why Veda, like a manual, prescribes or instructs, gives instructions to instructions, injunctions to follow so that a person can become mature. There is no way he has to become, there is no way other than not becoming maturing. He has to become matured. So once he becomes matured, a shift from Veda Purva to Veda Anta, that is how the transfer takes place. Transfer of ashrama, lifestyle. So therefore, 
for being a vaidika is being religious being religious is what is karma yoga is a karma yogi is religious but a religious need not be karma yoga you need to understand this also clearly here what we say religious is if it is in keeping with the veda then it is what religious is but the being religious in the general general understanding in the in the, in the as in the world now religious being religious is not uh not uh, karma yoga the person may be religious but he may be a karmi if the person is religious as per the vision of the the veda the person is religious in the eyes of the veda then he has to be a karma yogi what else could he be a person religious religiously he follows rituals he could be a karmi he could, he, he, he could be a karmi also he could be a karmi and therefore follows that is fine but that doesn't condemn the person but he has to grow out of that that he has to grow out of that and become a karma yogi so that he grows in life so that is also a shift shift from being a karmi to karma yogi the karmi can be religious the karma yogi also can be religious so being religious doesn't mean he is karma yogi two possibilities are there it could be karmi and it could be karma yogi karmi is what i mean is yes he aspires for he aspires only for the immediate ends whereas karma yogi otherwise called mumukshu yes the, the final end in view that is moksha for that he prepares for so that that is the maturity which uh, he gets over a period of time the person the beginning itself doesn't get that understanding he grows from being a karmi to karma yogi that is also a growth so it's all the way growing only the same karma only will be doing but there is a a change there is a difference in his understanding difference in his attitude how he looks upon the karma itself becomes different as a karmi how he looked upon the karma the the karma the rituals the yagyas or the vedas ordained what the vedas ordained and as a karma yogi we look upon there is a, a tremendous difference because of the change in the the person the understanding of the person so therefore anyway to be a karma yogi or to be a karmi in the vision of the veda one has to be religious this is what here to the whole to live a religious life this is what blood krishna meant here when he said that when he created human beings he also created ignas so this is from the vision of the veda but in the world now people are religious doesn't mean they are spiritual they are they are karma yogi they are religious just for just for being that say there is they don't know what in fact religious is they don't know what veda is no no they don't know what veda what veda teaches they want to talk about the commitment of the veda but they are religious it is they follow certain customs as it is has been followed by either by their the family or the ancestors or for, followed by the society and they follow and they call it is religious that is in the very local sense religious we are not talking in that sense so we need to understand that so ane the for religious anena prasavishyadvam the shloka it was there prasava prasava meaning growth prasava prasava also means janma the birth but here prasava prasuva sudatu from that it is comes prasava anena prasavishyadva meaning growth it is an interesting word here growth you begin your life with just yourself agam i myself now what happens after marriage when you get married one becomes two there are two of you because of which there can be no end of growth the singular becomes dual and then after some time plural also so 3 4 5 6 or more therefore that krishna said by yagna may you grow may you increase may you multiply so from brahmacharya life you are entering into grahastha and once in brahmacharya life you should perform certain yagna certain karma and in this ashrama more karmas are added 
because more karmas because you are multiplying so more kar more karmas are added so by that yajna may you multiply may you grow may you increase whatever the word said is used as it is in this verse is always an intention involved thus to understand the sentence you have to see the intention by giving human beings the rituals that are in the veda the lord intended for us to grow let this yajna be for you he said let this yajna be for you let it be the cow kama duk that means anything you desire ishta kama duk let it be your wish fulfilling cow the cow krishna was referring to was certainly not your ordinary milking cow this particular cow called kama dhenu a celestial cow it is once belonged to the well known sage vasishta there is a story vasishta He in fact, in fact, he owned this cow. One day, Vishwamitra, Vishwamitra, the great Rishi, he discovered Gayatri Mantra. Gayatri Mantra was revealed to him. He was a Kshatriya. Then he became a Rishi. That is why he is called a Raja Rishi, Raja Rishi, Brahma Rishi. Vishwamitra, the king, before he was a Kshatriya and was a Raja, he came to the forest where the sage lived, Vasistha lived. the king was accompanied by a huge retinue all of whom were angry finding vasishtha's hut they went inside and asked him for food in only 5 minutes food was served to them the king to his the ministers who accompanied him and to the entire army in 5 minutes the food was instant food not fast food it is the food sumptuous food in just no time he was, he was served when the king vasishta when the king asked vasishta how this had been possible the sage replied that he had a cow in the yard what does a cow have to do with all this wonderful food the king asked the cow gives everything vasishta replied the king didn't ask her. the cow gives everything vasishta replied means you go and ask the cow you give me that it will come immediately instantaneously it will be there the king then asked vasishta to give him the cow vasishta told the king that he could give him the cow but it would be of it would not be of any use to him because it would heal only to one who is a brahmarshi and the king was a kshatriya so oh, the story is Yeah, that's what the story is a metaphor. We cannot take it literally; it's a metaphor. That is based on the real meaning of the word Brahma Rishi. Brahma Rishi is Brahma Janati. It is Brahma Rishi. Rishi is Janati. The one who knows is called Rishi. Rishi is Janati. It is Rishi. Brahma Janati, Brahma Rishi. One who has a knowledge whereby everything is gained. Vasistha had this knowledge, and Vishwa Mitra did not. By knowing Brahma. by know, knowing the whole brahma as one self everything is as well known having this knowledge the person has everything because he or she is everything that is the the story that is the message of the story so that vasishta had this kamadhenu kamadhenu therefore stands for gnanam yasya gnane sarva gnanam bhavati as in the undaka upanishad gaining the knowledge of which the knowledge of everything is gained So, Vasistha's willful inquiry, Kama Deno, stands for Jnanam. Therefore, as Krishna says here, let the knowledge of Brahma, Kama Duk, Krishna Kama Duk, Brahma, prove to be a Kama Deno. Let it fulfill all your wishes. Definition of a Brahmana: When you have no wishes, you need not. you don't need any wishes fulfill that you are full and complete means you have no wishes but to know whether you are full and complete you must be a brahma rishi meaning that you must be a knower of brahma a brahma gnani there is an upanishad called vajra suchi ko upanishad vajra suchi vajra suchi means suchi means a needle vajra means diamond so vajra suchi meaning a diamond needle one that pierces and therefore thus defines vajra suchi 
there it is mentioned who is a brahmana brahma janati the brahmana the brahmana that varna varna ashrama we say brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra who is a brahmana really a brahmana is the one who knows brahma is called a brahmana not just by mere jati which what which say which upanishad says which shastram vacha suchiko upanishad a brahmana is defined in it as follows a brahmana is one who has brahma gnanam knowledge of brahma and everyone else is an abrahmana even the person who is bra who is born in a brahmana jati is abrahmana only as long as he doesn't gain this gnanam brahma gnanam so brahmana is the state the status of being a brahmana is not determined by the family or by your karma they don't they don't remember they don't uh, justify the they don't they are not the brahmanatvam is not justified by just by near birth or or karma or anything only that person is called a brahmana who has knowledge of brahma it should be brahma gyan so all brahma gyan is a brahmana only so it's a very uh, bold statement the wish fulfilling cow only will yield to one who knows brahma he knows brahma that is he knows kama deno so what wish he could have therefore the cow would have been used the cow could have been useless to the king all he would have received from it would be a kick this made the king very angry of course a typical kshatriya response when kshatriya was denied something then naturally he will get angry and when he was underestimated naturally he will get angry like arjuna arjuna was that's why arjuna in the beginning second chapter before uh, upadesha bhagavan krishna bipped arjuna by the by strong words so therefore there would be a response kshatriya will respond immediately therefore here the vishwamitra he vowed that he would become a brahma rishi in order to get the cow for which he performed enormous austerities tapas he performed tremendous tapas as long as he continued to be angry he did not become a brahmarshi he was angry because he was angry with vasishta he because he said he insulted that only a only a only a the person only only that person would get a would get this cow who is a brahmana so brahmana is not jati brahmana here the idea is this to invoke this to, to provoke this person therefore only vasishta said so and uh, kshatriya now being kshatriya he immediately got into action so therefore he wanted to get because he denied he was angry because he was denied kamade no he was angry therefore he performed tapas but because of this anger he could not become a brahma rishi in, fa- in fact as long as he wanted to become a, become a brahma rishi he did not become one as long as he was aspiring to become a brahma rishi he could not become aspiration that itself become a pratibandha obstacle eventually having given up wanting to become a brahma rishi because that is also an aspiration that is also a desire that also he gave up then he got the knowledge that made him a brahma rishi that made him a, that made him a brahma rishi and he got kama denu so therefore the word kama denu is is it stands for knowledge which fulfills the wishes of the person all the wishes of the person what it could be the wish i want to be free i want to discover the freedom i want to discover the free, the meaning of the freedom which is myself first he looks for freedom outside then he understand that freedom is the meaning of the very word freedom is is oneself so he looks for he looked for security before externally he looked for karma pleasures happiness externally now he and he understood he understands that everything is that everything is is myself is oneself therefore that knowledge that knowledge that the knowledge of purnatvam 
the knowledge of adequacy, completeness. That is, that is Kamadeva. Therefore, he gets everything he wants. That is Moksha. Moksha is everything that is different. Purushartha, Dharmartha Kama Purushartha, they are all meant for what? They are all meant for, they are all meant for not just fulfilling the immediate immediate ends. They are, they are meant for fulfilling the ultimate end, that is moksha. As we saw before in the beginning, security is not for the security's sake. It is for to be free from the sense of insecurity. Similarly, similarly, the artha, or kama purushartha, similarly, kama purushartha, hunting for happiness, sukham, ananda, it is not just for the sake of Ananda. It is for the sake. It is for the sake of wanting to be free from being unhappy. So, wanting to be free, the free, we want to be free. That is the end. By knowledge, he becomes free. By knowledge, he understands that he is free always. So that is therefore that knowledge. Makes a person krita krityaha. Krita krityaha is another word you will see. That is krita krityaha, that by which the purpose of life is served. That by which the knowledge by which the purpose of life is served. That is, he gets everything. He has discovered the goal of life. So, therefore, as Samaji says, Pamuchkaya, he has reached the other end. Therefore, he is free. He doesn't have any need after that. Everything is a luxury. So therefore, therefore, Kama Denu, let Kama Denu be your wishfulling cow, this knowledge be your, your wishful fulfilling cow. It fulfills all your wish. All, all your wish is not there are many wishes. The one wish that is Jnanam. By gaining Jnanam, you, be, you discover that you to be one without lacking, not lacking anything, la not lacking. I mean, you are fulfilled. You don't lack anything. You are complete. The sense of lack is, is because of lack of knowledge. The sense of lack, the sense of inadequacy, the sense of insecurity, all goes away in the wake of knowledge, this knowledge. Therefore, Kama Denu. So, Kama Denu, that cow is not really meant for fulfilling our petty desires, small, small desires. It is for it, it is for fulfilling the, that desire, that is, that desire, that is the moksha icha, the desire for moksha, that is through jnanam. Therefore, kama denu is, means jnanam. That is why somebody said it stands for knowledge, because knowledge only fulfills your wish, the wish which is ultimate wish, moksha. That also one has to discover, one has to grow to discover that. And uh, Vishwamitra also in the he grew to discover that and became a Brahma Rishi. He understood what Brahma is. Therefore, he became a Brahma Rishi. As long as he was aspiring to be Brahma Rishi, he did not. But once he gave up, he got the knowledge. So, therefore, in the Veda, the Lord said, Let Yajna give you everything. Let it be your wishful link. Yajna is a prayer, as we have seen. Yajna is a prayer. Prayer means rituals, Vedika rituals, or it is prayer. And as yoga, it gives you antakarma shuddhi. Yoga is karma yoga, the meaning of the word yajna. Yajna is a prayer, karma. And as yoga, karma yoga gives antakarma shuddhi. And also, then yajna means, uh, it gives antakarma shuddhi and then jnanam knowledge. Also, we have seen the meaning of another yajna, another meaning. That is, it means Bhagavan also. Ignartha, 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 Karmanon Yetra, Tadartam Karma Kunte, Tadartam Kimartam, Ignartham, Ishwaratham. One more meaning also we saw. Yajna meaning the Lord. So Yajna meaning the prayer, Yajna as a yoga meaning. Karma Yoga, that is to give Antakarna Shuddhi, by, by which the person gains Pakota for Jnanam and then gains Jnanam. So, Vumukshas want to know and for this employ various means, various disciplines, all of which are Ignya. So, 
yajna as karma yoga gives antakarna shuddhi for antakarna shuddhi only mumukshus they perform different actions different you can call yoga whether it's ashtanga yoga or 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 bhakti or kriya whatever it is all the disciplines they are meant for that therefore the wishful fulfilling cow is also said to be okay so all the disciplines are called yajna so that is one meaning then the next line the wishful fulfilling cow is also said to be available in the devaloka indra's world devaloka so when you go there please make you make sure that you see it just as when you go to agra you cannot come back and say that you did not see the taj mahal so to when you go to heaven you had better look for kamadenu it kamadenu is the story it is said it is in the devaloka kamade kamadenu indra as as airavata kamadenu we got all this celestial beings that's why kamadenu translated as celestial cow the cow which is in the devaloka but here kamadenu means knowledge that that fulfills your wish that fulfills your wish all the wish so therefore let this yajna be your kamadenu let this yajna be a, your kamadenu as karma yoga it fulfills fulfills your wish as gyanam also it fulfills the the ultimate wish moksha gyanam so therefore it's called kamadenu yajna is called kamadenu you we'll understand here yajna that is a karma yoga is meant for antakarna shuddhi why antakarna shuddhi antakarna shuddhi for gyanam so this yajna is called kamadenu the yajna that karma yoga this kamadenu fulfills all your immediate wishes and as the ultimate as and as the as and as uh, as gyanam it fulfills your ultimate wish that is freedom moksha therefore anena prasavishya dvam may you multiply by this yajna that is by this doing by this karma yoga by doing karma yoga may you grow may you grow may you multiply or may you grow in your understanding get clarity and grow and ultimately gain jnana and be free that is the the purpose of the life therefore may this kamadenu the knowledge be your ishta kamaduk iti then the next shloka 11th shloka we will read ಪರಸ್ಪರಂಭಾವಯ Before we go to the shloka, I can note number, shloka number nine, that the word yajna meaning Ishvara. So, tadartam Ishvarartam karma kaunte ya. So, doing karma yoga is Ishvarartam, Ishvara prithyartam for pleasing the Lord. That is the yajna. And in the next shloka, yajna stands for the the yoga the prayer the, the karma yoga that gives antakarna shuddhi and the later gives gyanam and after moksha so karma yoga gives moksha karma yoga also also helps to fulfill the immediate needs also therefore that is kama dukha that is the wish fulfilling cow so you have to follow the the order you have to adhere to the the order of the srishti the order of order which is ishvara so not creating any disharmony discord doing what is to be done that is what karma yoga is by that your immediate needs immediate needs are fulfilled and later when you gain pakvata and therefore gyana your ultimate end uh, the ultimate wish also fulfilled that is moksha therefore this yajna is nothing but kamadukha your wish fulfilling cow 
सो ये ज्ञा द वर्ड इज कर्म योगा यर इज कर्म योगा इज योर विश फुलफिलिंग काउ इट इज रियली दैट इज दल कामधेनु बिकॉज इट टेक्स यू टू काम कामधेनु दैट इज नॉलेज देयरफॉर देयर कामधेनु कामधेनु मीनिंग नॉलेज दिस यज्ञस टेक यू टू कामधेनु दैट इज नॉलेज नॉलेज अलोन इज मोक्ष देयरफॉर द यज्ञस आर दिस यज्ञस आर यज्ञस फुलफिल योर दिस यज्ञस आर कॉल्ड कामधेनु बिकॉज इट टेक्स यू टू कामधेनु विश फुलफिलिंग काउ कामधेनु इट फुलफिल्स ऑल योर विशेस that is gaining which the, the all your wishes are fulfilled therefore yagyas are also called kama dukkha kama denu iti so yagyasa karma yoga by karma yoga you gain the kama denu ishta kama dukkha so karma yoga itself becomes the kama denu your your wish fulfilling your wishes are fulfilled legitimately by your legitimate karma by doing karma the ordained karma the karma which is ordained either by the shastra or or by the or or by the world that is in keeping with your varna ashrama so following that by which you you gain this gnanam and then become free therefore this yajnas are called karma karma yoga they become the means for gaining the kama denu which is gnanam so that is the meaning so the meaning of the yajna depends on the context previous shloka it is ishvara in this shloka yajna meaning karma yoga yajna meaning prayer yajna literally meaning the karma vaidhika karma so many meanings are there so depending on the context we have to take so here what bhagavan says saha yajna praja srishta either we can take it as vaidhika rituals or we can take it as karma yoga along with the beings having created this yajna that becomes your means for gaining the kama denu gaining kama denu what is the benefit there is nothing else to be gained kama denu fulfills all your wishes in fact in fact that uh, the the final wish is moksha by by gaining moksha everything is gained therefore there is no wish by right? therefore there is no there is no wish left for the person and the yajna itself as the karma yoga itself that fulfills your immediate needs the karma which is done legitimately gives phalam and that phalam that that result that result fulfills your immediate needs so for the fulfillment of the immediate needs whatever karma you do that should be in keeping with that should be in keeping with the order that should be in keeping with the the harmony of the harmony of the srishti harmony of the world you should not rub against that so in other words you be a contributor you don't go against the order going against the order shows your selfishness if you are selfish you will not gain so you have to be you have to discover the person in you who contributes who who, who contributes more you that uh, you be a contributor at the same time you consume also we cannot completely be a contributor without being a consumer but your identity should be a contributor you are a contributor more than a consumer the more the more the more and more you contribute the more and more you grow grow so that 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 is kama dev what else could be kama dev so the the yoga the karma yoga becomes the means for gaining the end that is gnanam so therefore it is called kama dev that is the idea ishta kama dukkha it's a beautiful uh, shloka the meaning is to be understood properly the word yagya sometimes it is 
it is it can confuse what meaning it would take that depends that's why we need bashyo so taking the meaning of the word yajna to be karma yoga so therefore one has to be a yogi karma yogi lokeshvin dividha nishta pura prokta maya na two lifestyles were were taught by me karma yoga lifestyle and jnana yoga there is no karmi yoga karmi and all. there is no karmi yoga and all. Uh, karmi is one who does karma karma there is if there are only two either karma yoga everything is yoga only yoga implies attitude so therefore there are, there is no there are there, is, there are no karmas no actions performed with other than this uh, yoga yoga karma yoga attitude so therefore uh, shastra takes for granted that you are a committed person committed to the the veda therefore you are you have to be a karma yogi iti therefore two lifestyles by following a karma yoga lifestyle even if you are a karmi you grow to be a karma yogi that is the idea you may be a karmi but by following the karma yoga lifestyle you go grow from being a karmi to karma yogi once you become a karma yogi then jnana is not far away therefore karma yoga becomes kama deno kama deno meaning knowledge for that knowledge karma yoga is a means therefore yajnaha kama de that for the yajna karma yoga they become the means for the kama deno they become the kama deno and they become the means for kama de that is the idea they become the means for the kama deno that is jnana therefore they themselves are your kama deno fulfills all your wishes that is the meaning of the shloka next shloka i think you will read the next class we we'll stop here ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शान्ते 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 हि हरि हि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि हि ओम निवाला